hi guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be taking you on a little tour of the engine room of an asd tug Formerly known as Totonaka by its previous owners, this tugboat is Herman King. Built in 1999 in a Detroit diesel shipyard, this tugboat is 30 meters long, 10 meters wide, and weighs over 329 tons. It is fitted with two Azimut stern drives, two MTU 4000 series engines, and has a maximum horsepower of 5,000. 470 horsepower and a pulling capacity of 67 tons. Now let me take you on a tour inside this tugboat, showing you some of the equipment that make all of this possible. First, let's enter the control room. And as is in the name, most equipment can be controlled from inside this room. This is the main switchboard. All electrical power generated comes to this switchboard and is then distributed to control panels for each equipment. And here are the control panels. These are control panels for the engine room fan, fresh water and seawater pumps, etc. On the right, you will see the control panel for the Azimuth Z-Drive. This is the display monitoring unit for each main engine. And to the left of it is the display monitoring unit for each generator. Well, generator number one and two. This tugboat is equipped with three generators. Let's take a look inside the engine room. This is the fire engine, mostly used for extinguishing fires on other ships or the port. This is the hydraulic tank. This supplies oil for the anchor and the forward winch. If you have seen my previous videos, you would have known this is the port main engine. And this is the starboard main engine. Now remember that hydraulic tank? Well, these are the hydraulic pumps. One for the anchor and two for the winch. To the right of that, we have our sewage plant. Fun. Here is our harbor generator. On this tugboat, the main engines are start using air. So we have two compressors, number one and number two. And with compressors, we will have two air bottles. Or air reservoirs. This is our Detroit Diesel 471 starboard generator currently on standby. Just behind the generator is our starboard day tank. Little hard to see, but it's there.
here we have our Kumira gearbox. Starboard side. And on this side is our bunker station. So when we need to receive fuel or transfer fuel, all of that would happen right here. Here comes our other Detroit Diesel 471 generator, currently running. And just behind it is our port data. Here we have our bilge pump. So if there is water in the bilge and we need to discharge it, that's the pump we use. And this is our fire pump for internal fire. So if there is a fire on board, that's the pump that would supply the hydrant. This is our oily water separator, which helps to make sure that no oil is being pumped overboard. Here we have our fuel filters, our primary fuel filters the main engine. And to help keep that fuel clean, we also have an Alpha Laval fuel purifier. Let's go through our workshop. Fairly small, but gets the job done. Just after the workshop, we have our steering gear, which holds the gearbox for the Azimuth stern drive. And that's pretty much it for the engine room. Those are the equipments we have inside. Now that was a tour of the engine room. Let's take a look, a look at the bridge.
here we have our navigation equipment and also a display for the main engine. On this side, we have the controls for the aft towing winch. Well guys, that concludes today's tour. I hope you learned something or at least seen something new. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. But remember, you know, don't touch. Learn first. <laughs>